in this video I'm going to talk about migrations, DSFW migrations specifically. And you want to, I'm not going to get into the, the health check the pre and the process for the pre-procedure uh, too much. Uh, I'll let you go through the documentation and just make sure you, everything is healthy. Uh, what we're going to do is concentrate on the actual migration uh, procedure uh, right here. So the, the key to getting through a good migration is following the directions. Installing the eDirectory pre-migration pattern. So you just select e, uh, e, do the pre-migration pattern, but you must do it through the software management tool, not through the OESP, through the dot software management tool. From there, you configure eDirectory with the pre-migration, and then you go on to install DSFW pattern using the normal OES, going through the OES patterns. You do not configure DSFW, you just because eDirectory is already configured going through this software pattern. So that is the, the key piece to consider. Now, the servers involved, and we have our eDirectory server here, and we we'll just look in our tree. Uh, we can see uh, we have a server's container where the eDirectory server is at, and of course the DSFW server is inside OES system objects and here's the name of that just DSFW1 so DSFW1 is at OES 11 SP1 we're gonna move that migrate it not just upgrade not do an upgrade but migrate to SP2 you'll want to on that server just do a health check the NDS down if you don't have this there's the DSFW health check tool that you can download and run on your servers, uh, it's a DSFW dude. Uh, so you'll want to do that just just as a pre uh, migration. But again, I won't be concentrating on it. Just to let you know, that's that's what you want to do. On this server, we've already. I'll just make sure you want to, of course, make sure you can ping all the servers involved. The communication's good. So let's go ahead and get started with the software migration. Uh, this is what, or if you're not sure sure about that, it's right here right okay so software and then software migration or software management not migration sorry about that so we click on that 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 pulls up this piece go to our patterns we go to our pre migration select that and see it, it selects what it needs accept and we'll go from there check back in as soon as this is done Okay, the pattern's finished installing. So let's look at the documentation. All right, there we go. So we have that installed. Next, we're going to install this, the DSFW pattern. So go again into YAST. And this time we select the Open Enterprise server. And if you don't have an a OES, uh, SP2 server installed in your tree, you might want to migrate or not migrate, uh, export or uh, run the uh, schema tool, sorry, uh, and then uh, and, and uh, get schema configured. So we'll get a now we'll select DSFW inside the OES, OES uh, section for the patterns to install. We're going to replace the Samba with the Novell Samba. And then go from there. That should do it. Okay. So since now that we've ran th that configuration, we will just do the minimal input so that it will install eDirectory on this server. It will put it in the tree. And and uh, something. So, just, so the the piece that people get mixed up on is first install the pre migration coming through this link looking for the pattern and then doing and then doing the software management and then do the OES install for the DSFW you do that and then you that's you will be set so we're going to put in our servers existing tree so this is our eDirectory server we're just installing eDirectory on this just like a, a so you know there's two types of migrations there's one, or I should say, there's two two ways of doing it. Where one where it's in the tree, and where it's in a temp tree. 
you have to have the server in the existing tree. You cannot install into a temp tree. So we're just going to put it underneath the O equals novel. Currently, there's no there are no servers listed there. We say yes, and then it'll go ahead and configure and install this. Ooh, let's let me look at this. Oh, let me lot put in the right password and put in oh sorry and put in the right user. Okay, there we go. And I'll check back as soon as this. So you'll get this summary screen and. You, I don't even worry about anything configuring here. Just say next and let the install actually go through. As you can see, it, this is it's going to get our main pieces together. Uh, so the next thing, you, while this is happening, you can go ahead and begin the keys, getting the keys. So if you generate keys, if we just copy this and paste, we're going to generate our key. So we need to do RSA, then copy the whole piece. There we go. And just se select the defaults. Do not do a passphrase. You don't want to be prompted for a passphrase. Next, we will... So I missed this piece, as you can see. So copy that whole section. Uh, next, I'm going to copy this, where it's going to be root at my IP address. So I'm just going to copy paste and root at 192.168.0.52 that's my DSFW server that is my source server so my target server is the one I'm migrating to my source is existing yes yes So we're copying our keys across so that uh, we are not prompted to authenticate. Now that that is done, we'll take a look at, so we'll just skip that piece. Now we'll actually do this migration. Where Now there is a problem here. There should not be a blank. But I'll just copy this. And assuming this is completed almost, then we'll uh, actually do the migration. Let me get this set up. Source IP. So again, oops. let me just clear. Okay. So that is again my DSFW server for the source. And as soon as this is done, we'll go, go ahead and continue okay we're finished click the finish button we're done let's as you can see we're running the migrate dsfwpl source dash dash source equals and then we're doing all it'll pull up a screen here okay we're up so we're gonna configure our source Again, our source is our existing server, so it's 192.168.0.52. That is our source. And then the name, cn equals admin, comma, o equals novel, novel. And then the root password, so is novel. We're going to say OK. And then we're going to configure our target server, which is our new OES 11 SP2 server that we just installed the pre-migration pattern on. We're doing this actual, that running the actual migration tool on the target server. So let's click that. We just need roots password or set. Say OK. And we'll begin the migration. should be popping up here real soon to the actual project okay so now it's both of these are green so let's do the transfer ID click that say yes 
you want to transfer everything it just gives you a few things to think about don't have a lum proxy user that's you know if you have other things uh, for a dsfw server really the only proxy user you should have is the dns proxy user so this is just like a regular uh, transfer id or a migration we'll go through just go through each step i'll check back in once this is done so you don't have to sit and wait through the entire process also i'll mention if you get this message the source talk is automatically backed up that uh, talking about trans this is okay this is normal you'll cont you'll get these pretty much with every step of the way uh, so that's it's not an actual error okay it's finished uh, so far i'm in it about a half hour or so we're done with the actual migration uh, we just actually have to do the restart and this server will be coming up as the next the post migration there is a script to run uh, with the NDS or domain control uh, with the dash dash prep I believe uh, and uh, there's also another utility to to enable the sites and subnets I'll cover that in another video but this that is it that's the actual migration of a server it takes about like I said a half hour for the entire process to, to go through I hope this was uh, informational and, and helped you out Again, the key is following the this documentation doing the software management with the pre migration then configuring the the DSFW pattern uh, it says do not configure it this it probably needs to be a little clarified as saying do not configure the DSFW pattern you're going to be configuring the pre migration pattern and then uh, you'll want to really want you could do a re I've done it with or without doing a reboot in between this one I, I don't even think we did the reboot on this target server and it still worked just fine so uh, it's recommended to reboot I would suggest it but if you don't I don't think you're gonna have any troubles all right, I'll uh, let you uh, uh, continue on, and I'll uh, s start on an another video with the post-migration. Thanks for watching.